recording in a basement in suburbia. It's the Shorty Money and Dunk Show, where Generation X meets Generation M. On today's show, we'll be cracking the Millennial Code, talking about second chances. I'm Mickey Shorty Shortwell. I'm Money. And I'm Duck at the Pot. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, what I was really doing while I was gone... Uh, Besides being trapped in an oil well, painting. We're, we're going to get the real story I was here. Just, real story. Uh, okay. I was just hanging out with a lot of a lot of young people, just kind of getting... Teaching uh, preschool? No, no. I mean, no, I just spent Why time with Why are we just hearing family. about this now? I was just spending time with family, nothing crazy, um, busy with work and whatnot. But um, I, was, I was talking to my cousin. She's like 16 years old, mm-hmm. and I was just telling her that... I was, I was telling her about uh, a friend of mine who... He lives with his parents, doesn't have a job, like just got a lot of issues. But I was like, he kind of needs to, he wants a girlfriend, but I feel like he doesn't have his shit together enough. And she's like, yeah, boy needs to get himself some milk. And I was like, maybe, what? maybe a calcium deficiency is, is the reason for him not moving out of his parents' house. But I don't understand what that has to do with anything. She's like, no, no, get himself some milk. It's like to improve himself. It's, and I was like, is that, that's like a thing? And she's just like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a thing my friends and I say. And I was like, is this like, and then I realized I didn't understand a millennial. Like she used a thing that I didn't yeah. understand. That they made this term up or they heard it and they started she, recycling she, it. She said, she said it's from Vine. Like, okay. which is now, Vine. yeah, Vine. Didn't Vine go away like 10 years ago? Rest in peace. It went mm. away a while ago, but yeah, she said like her friends still say it. So I don't know, maybe they're mm. bringing it back. Maybe no one says it. I didn't really get it. Uh, and then she was also talking about like, oh yeah, the guys at my school, they're just so extra. And I was like, large? so there's a lot of them? They're overweight? They're, yeah, or there's, yeah, there's a large portion of them or there's a large, each individual is very large. Too overwhelming? Yeah, so, I mean, I guess extra just means over the top. Um, mm. But I was like, wow, I don't understand millennial speech. And I was, like, if I don't understand it, I wonder how you guys would oh, be doing because you guys yeah. aren't oh, even. Oh, boy. I'm technically Are we that a millennial. Woke? Are you? I, I I don't know. I mean, I grew I grew up in a in an era where we simply just had the English language. I don't think there was. Well, I was pretty close on the extra. I mean, I was pretty close. Yeah. 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 I think we were so. past. Well, what, were, what I don't even know where were some Gen X. What were some words when we were growing up? I I don't even remember. Oh, but I I, I think that every anymore. generation probably has that set amount of of things that they created and, and say. But, I mean, do you guys uh, remember anything from your era that just isn't even a thing anymore, but people used to say it a lot? Uh, uh, some things you can't say well, because they're now perceived negatively. When I was a, when I was a kid, maybe junior high school, we used to call each other gay lords all the time. That's <laughs> gay lord uh, fucker. Uh, yeah, well, it wasn't even that. It, that was that was pre pre meet the parents. Gay lord, like is that like Lord of the Gays or? I, I don't even know. I think we just threw it, it out there. Sounds like right? a villain wasn't... from a right. Saturday morning yeah. cartoon. Could be. I'm. Gay I think lord. you know when a lot of people when a Bill and or not Bill and Ted's but Wayne's World came out, everyone would Schwing. say, "Swing, excellent, excellent, yeah." yeah. But excellent That's so means stupid excellent. stuff like that. Like excellent well, yeah, means there's, excellent. Yeah, there's yeah, there's no hidden meaning to yeah. it, but it it. it, it the stuff we said, you, it's pretty clear what, what we yeah, were trying was, to get to. Right. So I thought it'd be fun to ask you guys oh, what some no. of these... And to be totally fair, I didn't know like two of these oh, when I was looking no. them up. I was like, what is that? I was so there. are you a Gen Xer in disguise then? I am absolutely... I think I've said this so many times, but it, like I don't get my generation. I sound like such an old person saying that, but I, I don't get <laughs> I it. I don't get them in their, in their words. <laughs> I don't get it. Put me back in my oil painting. Yeah, like someone was like, oh, yeah, it's just uh, she's been sliding on my DMs. And I was like, that sounds dirty, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> sliding on my DMs. In, I've been hearing that a lot. In, yeah, yep. sliding on my DMs. You've been, DMs. You've been hearing, hearing that a lot, Don? Sliding a lot. Into, yes. Where do you hear that at? Yeah, I, Where do you go that you're hearing sliding uh, on my DMs? On, outside of the snapper. Outside of the snapper, yeah, and the twit. Uh, let's see. I where are you hanging out? I man? am. I am a big fan of the Wild and Out show on MTV, Nick Cannon show. And and what's they, it called? 
Wild and Out. It's it's a improv show that they have on MTV. Yeah, really? Like Which rapping. More, and... Yeah, it's more a hip hop version of things. Okay. Uh, so there there's a lot of sliding in the DMs in there. Sliding the DMs. Yes. So sliding the DMs in my. If I can try and translate that. Can you give it to me in a sentence again, Money? Oh, that wasn't even like one of the words oh. I was supposed to ask you oh, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I, well, I'm trying to figure it out. It's, you know, sliding the DMs. I'll give you guys that one so we don't have to go over too many of these because these other ones drunk are funny. Drunk midgets. Okay, no, so sliding no. inside a drunk midget is is <laughs> Shorty's <laughs> thought on what sliding into DMs are. That is literally what you said. Yes. And when I say literally, I mean word for word literally. what you said. Literally. Word for word what you said. Uh, uh, you, sir? But I think it's just... Uh, Exchanging uh, direct messages yes. on social media. Oh. Yes. Well done. Yes. I, yes. Was, I was trying to be. I am not overt. the hip hop expert of this three for nothing. Direct messages. This is very yes. true. Yes. Where do the direct messages take place? Is that like a? Is it that could a be text? like. It could be a lot of. It could be your Facebook. It's, it's not Twitter. a text. Twitter. It's not a text. I know of everything that it is. It's not a text. Not a text. Slide because uh, it's like, should I send her a text? And it says, nah, I'll just slide into her DMs. DMs. Slide into her yes. DMs. Yeah. Yes. Why does it have to be made to sound so sexual? I don't know. <laughs> because it is about, it is something sexual. When you're sliding into someone's DMs, it's usually non platonic. You're usually like, hey. Is this where we start talking about muffing a punt right now? My, yeah. That... No, but seriously. So if I'm, if I'm direct messaging, if I say I'm direct messaging someone, that just means a direct message. But if I'm sliding the DMs, then it's sexual. Or I'm trying to hit her up on the down low. <laughs> hit her up on the down low would mean you're trying to uh, make sure that like it's not it's it's discreet the way you hit her up. So okay. that this would episode be is going to make me super white and super middle aged very quickly <laughs> because he wasn't before. <laughs> it's going to add more emphasis. All right, so you All have right. some other All right, so we have how many right. now? So uh, I think like six. Uh, some of them should be pretty quick, I think. All right. So that's what the she said. first one, that's some money. of them should be pretty quick. That's money's line. That's. It. I mean, no, it's not. But okay. Hold on. Uh, let's do the first one, which is fubbing. Fubbing? Fubbing. Can you use it in a sentence? Uh, yes, I can. Hold on. Where did it go? Uh, please please. Oh, no, this gives it away. Oh, mm. okay. I can't stand people fubbing me. <laughs> that doesn't really give it away, I don't think. No, I skipped the part that did. There must another extension. Yeah, I skipped the part that did. Right. I can't part stand that did. people fubbing me. Yeah. Fa I'm going to guess it has something to do with Facebook. No, close-ish. Mm. Uh, Come on, don't give it away. I, I, I was just going to say ignoring me. Uh, close. So fubbing means you're snubbing someone while being on your phone. So you're ignoring them because you're on your phone. Uh, so, so phone snubbing. Collectively. So oh, let me let me break that down. So I'm ignoring them while I'm on my phone, meeting them on my phone, having a conversation. Or it doesn't matter. You're just no. looking at your phone. Doing which anything is why on your I phone. said Facebook was an option because you could have been like Facebook and on your phone or something. Okay. But either way, you're kind of ignoring the person. Oh, like it, like we're or, in the same place. Like I'm sitting. Like what I'm doing to you right now. Right. <laughs> yeah. We're at the coffee shop. I'm we're sorry. We're having I'm not, our morning uh -huh. coffee. Fub uh -huh. you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Such I'm a great, great yeah. story. Um, okay. The kids so, do that to me all the time. I yeah, guess. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you get fubbed. Got you get it. Fubbed. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. You're fubbing so children. So collectively, we nailed that. Yes. You I and I. So. Our middle-aged brains, Put it we nailed that. Yeah. Yes. All right, slow your old dudes. You got more. Yeah. All right, number two, kittenfish. In a sentence, it is, whoa, I just got kittenfished. <laughs> okay, that clears it up. <laughs> well, it kind of does because you know it's a noun. You are like, It's a noun that can also hmm. be used as a verb. You want to go first, Dunk? I have an idea. About kittenfished. That. I, it feels like it, it, it's another way of saying that I got friend zoned. Nope. Damn. All right. Shouty. I'm going to go. Do you know what friend zone is? <laughs> Can we go back to that? Oh, my God. Let me do kitten fish. Okay. I got to put one All thing right. at a time. I'm All very right. center focused. Okay. I can't. All right. I got you. All right. It's your show. All right. I'm just living in it. Okay. We can come back to it. Friend zone. Okay. Um, 
kitten fish. So fishing, I'm going to say, has something to do with, and let me finish my whole thought before you shut me down. Um, <laughs> fishing has something to do with dating and with people getting together and having relationships or trying to have relationships. Kitten, I'm going to go with, has something to do with with somebody younger. So if I'm a millennial, let's say I'm 28, 29, uh, nearly 30 and eligible for Social Security, um, kitten fishing would mean someone that's 22, Whoa. 20. Whoa. <laughs> what? I'm almost 30. <laughs> you got that? I, it was a little late because I was fubbing you. <laughs> uh, you were fubbing me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then it came in with yeah. the speakers, and I'm like, yeah. 30? That sounds Wait like an second. age I almost am." <laughs> that might have been directed at me. All righty, uh, well, uh, so uh, it's a good disc, quit bro. Fubbing. Bottom good line: disc. kitten fishing is someone younger than you trying to DM your slow mo. Raw, <laughs> your slow mo. Okay. Uh, so, do you guys know what a catfish is? Yes. Okay, cat, so that's where you're when trying you catfish to, someone. You're, you know that. You're trying to trick them. Right, yeah, <laughs> using someone else's pictures. Yeah, yep. so that's catfishing. So kitten fishing is uh, when a person looks more attractive in their pictures than they oh, do in real life. All right. So it's mm. like, uh, oh my God, I was so shocked when he showed up for the date. He looked way less attractive in person. Whoa, was he catfishing you? No, he was a kitten fished. I got kitten fished. So it's like got if it. I take a picture, you know, people, everyone's always taking the pictures with their phones up above their head. And then adding the... Adding filter. The, yeah. yeah. I mean, here's the thing. This is something. Ladies, gentlemen, anyone who's been on a dating thing, always keep in mind that picture that they're showing is the best or one of the top four best pictures no. that have ever been taken of this person. I don't believe that for a second. I think everyone's honest. Yeah. So, I mean, like, remember... Just like take what you see and divide it by five. Got it. <laughs> like that's just there are significant by five. Wow. Like so, if you see it, it's like, oh, this dude's a ten. Just divide yeah. it by five, and like he's really a two. Wow. No, I'm kidding. What? That's that's too hard. Wow. That's just divide it by like, divide it. How in about half. subtract two? Divide it in half, maybe. Okay. No, okay, fine. Two. Let's we'll subtract two. All right. Anyway. How about friend zone? What about let's do let's zone? do friend zone since it's shorty. Like, you I guys know what that, that one. Is. I can probably put together. That's yeah, yeah, that's okay. where uh, like I'm um hot for for, a young, for money a young lady and oh, I'm young. Uh, um, I went from being too old to too young. It's, it's good. Uh, and I want to DM her slide Stop. and <laughs> she doesn't want to be slid. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Right? Yeah, you're on. You're on. Right. Next word. All right. Let's move along. <laughs> Did I get it right? Uh, yeah, let's just Mostly. go. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you're married. You don't have to worry about what friend zoning is. You're clearly not friend zoned. If you have a child with a person, yeah, you most likely are not being friend zoned. Okay. But, uh, okay. Um, I don't know. Times Could be is, now. Times that's, is that's, weird. That's, times that's, is that's weird. It. Times they are changing. Times is, times Money. Is Your generation's weird. kicking open doors. Yeah. They're just, like I'm looking at the doors. I'm like, ah, it shouldn't be kicked open, but maybe I'll think about that. She is getting Don't old. I, fuck both of you. <laughs> All right. All right. Bread crumbing. Mm. Oh, I. That's that's easy. Okay. Do I get to go first? This go way ahead. I to go first. So bread crumbing to me would mean. Uh, like you're, because everything is, is on social media now. No one has direct interactions. You have to first social media uh, connect up with a twit. Um, <laughs> bread coming is when you're <laughs> bread crumbing. <laughs> we'll get back to bread coming in a couple minutes. Oh my god! Please stop. <laughs> um, bread crumbing is when you're you're sliding in the DM and you're having a a, a chat and the direct message and you're trying like uh hey you know i think you have nice eyes and you're so you're trying to like hey i really like the way that you type with the emoji and it's no so so you're you're trying to like you're trying to telling you you're wrong guide the person into liking you (laughs) and out of the friend zone you want to keep them out of the friend zone you want to keep them in the other exact opposite oh all right literally the exact opposite oh sorry well, you, you gave him I'll too give, much hold on hold on I, I, I'm doing the same thing I'm all not right. changing my thing yeah, it's yeah. I, I, 
The first thing I thought of is that <clears throat> someone's yeah, right? leading somebody else on. Yes, okay. that is correct. Breadcrumbing means sending flirtatious but non-committal text messages to potential mates just to keep them interested without exerting any effort. Which, guys, I realize why Peter texts me all the time but never takes me on a date. He's breadcrumbing. Okay. Me. So I was right, but wrong. You were actually completely wrong. Like, if there was a definition for what you just said, it's complete opposite of right. I just had to flip it a little bit. So just be be anti breadcrumb. So like, so like that's like saying the opposite of what is the correct answer can also be the correct answer. I was eating a whole piece of bread. Okay. (laughs) All righty. The next one is ghosting. Dunk, I think you get the first swing at that one. No, can we kind of okay? I want you to do it because yours, the one you already said you thought it was, is very funny. Well, ghosting, and this is something that I uh, I read in uh, something about you're at a party and you're going to leave rather than, and this was an etiquette thing, if you're going... <laughs> what? I'm sorry. You're so wrong, but keep going. Well, I'm just telling you what, what my knowledge is that I read on the internet, so it's true, yeah. is that if you're at a party and it's an etiquette thing. What you, year did you read this on the internet? It's within the past year or two. Was it when the movie 14, Casper and the Rescue came out? Six months. No. You're, if you're going to leave a party and like most people go, oh, I'm going to search out the guests and say goodbye, the, the etiquette, the polite thing to do is if it's a big party, just just go. Ghost. Leave. Go. <laughs> All right. Shorty. Or not shorty. Uh you still can't remember my goddamn donk. name, can you? Donk. 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 All right, donk. Well, I think he's she on the right it. track, but I think it's just trying to leave a relationship, whether it's a friendship or romantic relationship, without really telling the person that you're yeah, it's, you're, you're out. Yeah, it's literally cutting off a relationship or a friendship with no communication. So it'd be like you go on a date, and then the person, you text them, they never text you back. You call them, they never call you back. Like, they just disappear. Is there is there a timeline that you're in the relationship that you you have to not ghost? No, there's no not ghosting. You could literally do it after a first hangout, a first date, whatever. Okay. You just the person. It's to is the discretion of the ghoster. Is a hangout and a ghoster. date the first thing? Huh? Are, are, are hangout and a date the same thing? Well, no, because a friend can ghost you too. It's not necessarily okay. Yeah, it can be. Mostly, it's considered in the dating world like, oh, he ghosted me. But a friend can ghost a friend too and be like, I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to tell her that she annoys me more than anyone I've ever met. But I'm just going to oh, not wow. talk to her. Now, along with ghosting, uh, there is uh, haunting. Do you guys know what haunting oh, is? Gotta, it's it ties in with ghosting. So it's be the opposite. All right? Uh, no, it couldn't be the opposite because the opposite exactly. would be... Exactly. You're getting better at understanding opposites today. Mm. <laughs> not really, but... Oh, like a little bit of progress. So is this the opposite where you're smothering somebody? No. Uh, so Haunting. I'm just going to I'm gonna just say this one because I didn't mean to bring this one up anyway. I'm pretty sure I have the right answer. Um, so it means that you ghost someone and then you just start following them on social media. You like their posts. You check their Snapchats. Um, so like, she means snapper. Isn't that she said snapper. No. So it's saying he, it's like they're like haunting you as in so they won't talk to you directly. They'll only like your posts or they'll, you know, say something or okay. like, yeah, they'll never say anything to you directly, but they'll they'll check up on your social media. They'll read your snap stories. Um, it's such a bizarre world. I'm telling you. I agree. And then zombieing is is basically, I would say, the same thing. Uh, popping up every now and then to text them uh, <laughs> is, is zombieing. <laughs> So he's back from the dead, but only a little bit. Nice. Like texting him, like, hey, it's up. Yeah. And when then, my friends ask me about like a guy that ghosted me, yeah. um, one of my favorite things to say is it's like, oh, so what happened with that guy? And I was like, oh, he died. He's dead. Oh. Because he's ghosting me, right? So, mm. And then I'll say like, he made a miraculous, he pulled a Jesus and here he is. He's He's been resurrected and he's trying to text me again. But that's that's basically all you need to know about that one. Nice. Uh, okay, next one. Dick sand. <laughs> Do we have any sort of example for this? Any context? Yeah, that's good. Haley hasn't been returning our text because she fell into Alex's dick sand. Oh, she likes his dick. No. She likes his, his dick sand. Dick sand is sand. 
What does can that you say that, sound can, like? Can you say that example again? Okay. Haley has not been returning our text because she fell into Alex's dick sand. <laughs> Alex is, it, it, I'm assuming Alex is a guy. Yeah. It, it, it just kind yeah. of maybe controlling and not letting her talk to friends. Close. Okay. Bring it. It's less narcissistic than that. So it's uh, the emotional quicksand someone gets stuck in when infatuated with someone. So it's like, uh, yeah, you're just caught up in all that with drama. A, but with a guy because it says with a guy dick? yes okay because it would i would assume it's with a guy because it says dick. All, dick all we are is dicks steve dick that's sand. all we're okay giant penises dick and the sand. last one walking around the last one sliding in the dm <laughs> jesus F- fubbing you guys learned so many new words today <laughs> um my mom will be very proud yeah uh all right the last one is r bombing r bombing Car bombing. Like car bombing without the like, C-A? I mean, if that's how you want to remember it, sure. But no, it's not like car bombing. Uh, can we have a word origin and put it to, put it into a sentence? Um, uh, Hannah R bombed me. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sentence. That's literally what it says. <laughs> There's more to the sentence, but it but it's it gives it away. Exactly I understand. What it is. Um, R bomb. What 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 word will um, the R mean? Registration. Reg- are we? Uh, is that? Are, are we on the same line? It's 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 an R word that. No. Reconciled. No. I mean, it is a word that starts with R, but you don't like. It's not like a dirty word. Rectify. No, I no, I, I I'm. I understand that. I uh, rectal bombing is that what you just? No, I said, said? rectify. Oh, okay. Rectify. Rectal bombing. <laughs> Money's like new words too. That is not a new word. I uh, I I have I give up. I don't know what the 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 R, R word's going to be. I'm going to guess is apologizing profusely. Trying to rectify something that is not a big deal, but, but they're going to overdo but it. But not rectal bombing. Not rectal bombing. Okay. I mean, unless... That's what they want. Unless it was an issue that started rectally <laughs> initially, then yes. All right. Okay, okay. so our bombing means to read someone's message and not respond to it. Uh, and Hannah R bombed me. What? How can you tell? She has her red receipts on, and it says she read the message like three hours ago. Mm. Which is why Seven. I never have my red receipts on. I don't even know how to do that. Yeah, just don't learn it. It's more useful. <laughs> um, R bombing. R bombing. I can use that. We had a conversation yesterday. I was at a family gathering, and my sister in law, her my nieces and nephews, were talking. Is this about, where you were libated? <laughs> no, nah, I was a little bit libated there, but not not to the point that I had to <laughs> gain fifteen thousand Facebook friends. <laughs> Um, amazingly, all these people are accepting my Facebook friend requests. They yeah. are? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They all want to be friends with me, which, you know, I think says a lot about me. And who doesn't, though? I, well, there's some. But... Maybe people who are about to turn 30 wouldn't like you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We're going to find <laughs> out. <laughs> we are going yeah, to sorry. find out. Like, be, yeah. Be... People who you make fun of for almost turning Is 30. that the list of all the people that accepted your request? Yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, it's, Where's there's, Angel? Uh, there's still people still. Colin wants to be my friend. Brian. Uh, who else? John. I don't know any of these people. Why are they accepting? Max. You, yeah, you, should, be, you should be more worried about the ones that are accepting because they're just as lonely as you are. Yeah. It's <laughs> kind of sad. It is very I sad. I feel bad for myself. So we went through all of them. There's some more okay. if you guys want to keep going or you're good. I uh, I, my, I feel pathetic enough. My brain is exploding and I and I feel like... I do like the R bombing though. I get R bombed, yeah. Like sometimes that's the... So a snap trap happens after you get R bombed, which is you send someone a snap because you need to know, like cause Snapchat lets you know when they've seen the snap. You can shut off red receipts on your phone, but you can't shut that off Snapchat. If there's someone that that is so important to you that you want them to respond, why don't we anymore just place a phone call? Calls are so weird. I have like severe anxiety with phone calls, except for my like best friend who I talk to all the time. If I'm dating a guy, yeah. I will not call him. Wow. Why? 
I just find it so uncomfortable. Like, I mean, unless they call me and then it becomes a thing. But like on my own, I'll never call a guy just because it's just so weird. What if you have nothing to talk about? And then you're like awkwardly quiet. And when that they is true. just call quiet, up like, hey, I'm, you know, we're going out tonight. You're picking me up at 815, right? Yeah. OK, cool. Yeah. No? no, I would just send that in a text. And then and then you're R bombed. And then I get R bombed. Read receipt. And then you're sitting there. Going out of your mind for that. Our yeah. little boy is oh, growing up, yeah. money. I know, right? You got it. <laughs> you got it. Come. And then, and then he, and then you get, you get, he doesn't respond via the text. So you try and do the snap story. That doesn't work. You try. I've never. I don't snap. I don't you, Snapchat people because I think that's creepy. I assume I have. I have a two text rule. Mm-hmm. I have a two text rule that is, and then a phone call if it's mm-hmm. that important. If I have a date where I'm supposed to meet up with someone, uh, I'll text once as a reminder. Mm-hmm. And then if I don't get a response, I'll text one more time and that's it. If after the second one, then I assume I'm being ghosted or they died. Are bombed. Um, so at that point, you just don't show up for the date or... Well, I've never had a guy just not show up for the date. Usually mm-hmm. after the second text, they'll be like, oh, yeah, sorry, I was at work. I'm on my way now. Yeah. Have you been fubbed at a date? Uh... Not during a date. I've been fubbed while hanging out with someone I was dating. Like I was like mm-hmm. my boyfriend, like he like he was on grinder, so he wasn't paying attention to me. <laughs> and that's a whole right. different episode. No, we're not doing an episode. Moving right along. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not gonna happen. Dick but, sand. Uh, oh yeah, I fall into Dick Sand a lot. That should have been yeah. the name oh, of our for sure. That should have been the name of our improv group. Dick, Dick Sand. Sand. Dick Sand. Yeah. But it's all guys and one girl. Like, what? where does... That's, that's all right. Where do I come in on the dicks? <laughs> that, that was... Oh, all right. You want to kick that yes, door open? We thank can. you. All probably right. not a good Sam, idea. And my mom's not listening I'm anymore. Gonna, yeah. gonna, let's edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> I vote we edit that. I'm just going to... I'm going to put inappropriate or bleeps in inappropriate places so it sounds even worse so, uh, literally anytime i talk just where do i so come? money how was your day <laughs> <laughs> sorry. i'm writing that down for posterity okay who's posterity and what does it mean <laughs> fire at will who the hell's will <laughs> 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 who the hell's will why everyone's always like firing at him Everyone thinks he's a dick. Eh, Will's probably a dick. Nice. Will's all wrapped up in the dick sand. In another dude's dick sand, right. yeah. I, I think the other element that we wanted to touch on uh, this topic, I think we... Not dicks. We don't want to touch on dicks anymore. <laughs> I think we're done with the dick talk. I think we're done with that? Good. No. All right. For now. Uh, last episode we had last week... I'm drinking so much coffee. Oh, Jesus. You're going to be regular. Uh, yeah. Uh, was about texting or not texting, uh, tweeting, tweeting, and about the offensive tweets and where do you, where do you draw the line with things? And one of the stories that has really interested me the last couple of years was this um, pitcher from Oregon State, Luke Heimlich, uh, who was supposed to be a really high draft pick in baseball, but then he was convicted when he was 15, of uh, doing some uh, molestation, committing molestation with another family member. And the more... Can I just... Doing some molestation with another family member, that's more of a... Committing. Committing. How about about that? Um, Committing a molestation? (laughs) You guys are great with words, I've learned. I'm just so thrown off by the first part of this episode. I I apologize for that. That's my unnecessary apology. (laughs) And I know before we started recording today, I know that Money and I really talked about this. And this guy was supposed to be a very high draft pick. And out of the 30 or 40 rounds in the last two years, he was not drafted at all, which means he's pretty much radioactive. And Mm. it just made me wonder at what point do people not deserve a second chance in life? You hear a lot. I I I had all sorts of uh, grade school education, and one of the big things was being able to forgive and give people second chances, that sort of thing. And I know the more I read about what was involved in the situation with Luke, it's it's pretty disgusting. But it just made me think about the concept of second chances, and wanted to know your opinions on 
when people just you just give up on them and they don't deserve a second chance. So Luke Luke was 15 and molested a family member. Did he did he was he arrested, convicted, did he go to juvie, did he go to I believe he rehab? did he did plead guilty, but he uh does say that he is innocent of this of all charges. He pleaded guilty, but says he's. Innocent. It could have been one of those things where he just didn't want to risk having a lot more charges yeah. being thrown against him. Okay, but it's hard to do that and then say years later I didn't do it. Yeah, I. I yeah. But it doesn't have to be this situation by itself because if you read more of the details of what he's accused of saying and, and what he's actually been convicted of doing, it, it's it's pretty disgusting. But I think in, in general in life. What's what's the and this seems to be a, a thing that I really get caught up on with a lot of our episodes is where do we cross the line or I'm say where molesting is molesting a line? child is crossing a line? Oh, child molesting is is a line crossed. Definitely, rape is a, a line crossed. Murder. Murder is a yeah. line crossed. Um, you know. No matter what the age. Well, so here's the thing: is that we have we have a a uh, rehabilitation system where these people that are accused of these things some of I murder a lot well not even a lot of times some of the time they go to jail for the rest of their life a lot of time they don't they get you know manslaughter or second degree or third degree or dm'd or dick faced or whatever they end up getting dick um, sand dick sand um dick faced <laughs> <laughs> um but they go to jail and they're released from jail and then are you forever condemned to being denied the right to work or produce or survive should you just go to jail live in jail for 20 years and then get out and say you know okay now you get to starve to death i mean right what's 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 yeah. left for I you i mean you got to look at the circumstances right. i mean for molesting i i believe i was told that um he was 15 and the family family member was six that's messed up and i think that's that's something to focus on is if this was like he was 15 and the family member was 14 right and there was just some confusion and there were you know they neither of them really knew related. anything that they were doing yeah i don't think the related part is the biggest part of this issue i think no, if he was unrelated to a six-year-old and right molested him that would be wrong too um but what i would say is molestation of someone of a child is indicative of, of a mental problem that one has I would say throughout the rest of their life. Right. If you're sexually attracted to a child, you're kind of hoping throughout your life that that goes away. But if that's there and that's part of who you are, you're going to be, you know, like you can't just say that if someone molested a child, they'll never do it again. The assumption it, is that it, they will. It's interesting because we're talking about sports and they'll take the biggest scumbags and put them on the field. If that's yeah, if that's oh, yeah. if that's, if that's I mean, gonna yeah. that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Like they have people. Of football they have players. people who have been convicted or accused of domestic violence. Oh, Jay Simpson. <laughs> and they, they're still let back on onto the field. And oh no no that was so, after. <laughs> so I I just. It's just weird. Right now, this guy, Luke, is just, he's radioactive. No one wants to touch him. There's one, I think uh, Kansas City was rumored to be interested, but it, it's just, it's amazing that nobody wants to be well, and, I mean, they anywhere touch near. Him, yeah. And I mean, he shouldn't, yeah. He it, shouldn't and you get into sex kid. crimes, and that's, there was a, there was a story here, a story here locally. Sorry, too much caffeine. Um, a, a kid at a local park district or what have you was, teaching a swim lesson and was accused of inappropriately touching a kid that he was instructing. Um, now, there were, you know, I don't remember if he was convicted, but his name's in the paper, said he did this. Let's just say he didn't do it. And he was accused, found to be not guilty. Um, this guy says that he he pled guilty, but he says he didn't do it. Right. But he's got this on it's his got, on his record. It sticks with him forever. It's, it's, it's a stigma. Yeah, uh, as it should be. Is, is it? Should but why be. is it different than beating somebody's wife? I'm not saying it is. I would. I would say. I would say both of those are something I would. I would punish. I mean, look at how much money these people are making. If you can't not beat your wife, you probably. You know, there's got to be someone good out there who doesn't beat their wife that could oh, be I'm on sure the team are. that deserves the spot. 
I think moral clauses is something a lot of football contracts had. I don't mm-hmm. know if they still do, but um, a lot of teams have this moral clause, and he would definitely be considered someone who... I would say Jay Cutler doesn't beat his wife because he doesn't beat anybody. <laughs> Yay, sports! Except for himself. <laughs> There we go. Sports, right back to masturbation jokes. <laughs> I'll be here for the next hour, folks. One, two, one, two. Is this been working? <laughs> it's just, it's just an interesting concept, and it's just. Uh, I mean, now, I mean it, if he that, if he did it uh, at fifteen, um, you think he's going to do it again? I don't know. We, that's the thing. You have to assume I, that I, they will so, on the safer so, side. Yeah. Let me, and I don't want to be accused of defending child molesters, but um, they're... No, nah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, maybe not. If you I, ever I'm have just... to say, like, if you have to preface a sentence with, I don't want it to sound like I'm about to, like, be okay with child molestation. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know I don't know the details of the case. Did someone walk in on him with a six-year-old kid? Did the six-year-old kid tell mommy, hey... In that yeah. case, I would believe the six-year-old. Why would a six-year-old lie about something right. like that? Yeah, I, I, who knows? It, 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 so then the it question just, becomes, just, if this is if this has to hang with someone for the rest of their life, um, why why do we let them out of jail? Okay. Or why don't we jail them and just That's leave true. them in perpetuity? It's right. a life sentence. They don't have any, anywhere to go yeah. after that. I, and I, I understand what you say, that, that people that uh, committed sexual offenses... Especially uh, pedophiles are. There's something wrong with. There's that. something wrong with them. Um, what What do we do with them? Because oftentimes they they don't go to jail for life. They go to jail for a couple of years, or they go. You know, they plead. You know. Right, but the but whatever you know, that's why you can look up online like any predator is living by you. I think the whole point of making sure that it is known that this is a thing is right. to keep people on alert for it. Yeah. Um, like, I mean, if you had to hire a nanny to watch your kid and you had this guy who was accused of sexually assaulting oh, yeah. his... No, I do a background check in no way. Like, and even just that, like, you don't have the whole story, you don't have any of the proof, but you mm. know he was right. accused. Yeah. That should be more than enough to be like, well, okay, if he was accused, then... And, he, and the ones that are, there are people, I mean, you can end up on the on the sexual predator list for doing things just like urinating on urinate, a, yeah, yeah. Uh, or you know, if you're if you're 19 and you're dating a, a 16 year old, and the parents decide you're going to be charged with statutory rape, right? Which is why I'm saying, look at the situation. Yeah. In a situation where you're 15 and you molested a six year old, yeah, that's a sufficient enough situation where there is no second chance, right? All right, so what's not get this too Light, serious i know it i know it, 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 I, 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 I think no, we've been talking, talking about just, uh, child rape just, but let's just, turn the corner it's here it's really if we could. interesting about uh second chances for some people and, and not for others and i will yeah. never understand that yeah. but in our personal lives what are the boundaries that you will never give a second chance to someone after they did something someone who prefers the star wars prequels to the originals Ooh. yeah that's a Ooh. huge problem yeah, i'm done I'm so done. If, have if you they... met anybody like that god no i don't associate with those kinds of people no if i ever did i'd have to question myself what did i do so wrong that i am in a room with someone who has this kind of a belief yeah, those like, things just, those, were just so awful. Kind of if i walked in with a jar jar banks tattoo I would, immediately would you know, quit? Would you quit the podcast? If, if, I would quit. No, like, if you, I would quit knowing you. Yeah, just if you were, if you're you. telling I would ghost us, the shit if you're out opening you. up right now, Dunk, that that that's what's going on. <laughs> you, there's a door right there, up the stairs. Go. I would ghost the shit out of you. We would, wow. Uh, we we find wow. a we get Juice Man in here. We get uh, Dick Hole. <laughs> Dick Hole. <laughs> Steve Glass. Steve Glass. We'll bring him. Fly him in from Atlanta. We'll pay for his plane fare. <laughs> So that's that's the that's the line. Do you have that's a big line? I would say that's a pretty yeah. big one. Oh, oh, actually people who prefer Pepsi to Coke. That's a line. Whoa. That's a line. That's Whoa. severe. That's a line. Ugh. Wow. Why would you like pe- Pepsi? Ugh. Have you not ever heard of the Pepsi challenge? We should get sponsored by Coke. <laughs> you must be what is the pepsi challenge? you must be doing lines of coke you never heard of the pepsi challenge no oh my god because it's about pepsi and i don't like pepsi 
Pepsi Challenge was something that took place probably when the in the eighties. I think later than that, I don't remember. And Pepsi, I used to say I liked Pepsi better than Coke because Pepsi came in a blue can, and I loved the color blue. <laughs> and I used to just be like, I want that one, and then I'd always be like, Can I have a sip of yours? And I just like like the Coke better. Pepsi, I just can't do it. Pepsi for life. Pepsi is disgusting. That's uh I'm ending these friendships right now. That's gonna be on my this other This is my shoulder. last podcast, people. I hope you enjoyed Jar Jar on the right and Pepsi for life on God, the on the no. left. Since seventy five. Nineteen eighty three, nineteen eighty one. This is the taste. This is the test. Pepsi versus Coke, the Pepsi Challenge. Pepsi. And all across America, more people pick Pepsi. Pepsi. Time Pepsi. after time after time. Pepsi Cola. Pepsi Cola. And, and I'm sure things have oh, stayed the same. Dancing, ha- they're all so happy. I'm pretty sure things have stayed the same since 83, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, so that's a big thing for you then. Yeah, I wow. don't like Pepsi. I was at, a, I was at, uh, I was getting a Euro uh, from uh, Tom and Jerry's in Sycamore. And I was like, uh, can I get a Coke? And he's like, oh, we only have Pepsi products. So I was like, forget it. <laughs> like, just water is fine. Wasn't that uh, uh, Billy Goat Tavern? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pepsi, no Coke. Yes. Coke, no, no, no chips, Coke. fries, or no fries, I'm, chips. I mean, I'm preferential. I don't drink much soda anymore. Yeah. Or pop, or I mean, the options pop. are diabetes or diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> I used or to drink a lot diet diabetes, a lot of diet coke, and I would have Pepsi like as a fallback, but I never, I preferred coke. Add a boy. Yeah. Friendship continues. Okay. Um, do you have a, a no going back rule? Yeah. No what's your second for chance? somebody? Not something that you see a lot, but I think if I ever met someone who had, who had participated as a contestant on uh, Bachelor in Paradise. I would not be able to be friends with them <laughs> because I'm pretty pretty sure that there would be like air contact syphilis or gonorrhea that that I would inherit based on what I've seen there. <laughs> right? <laughs> ever watch okay. Money? Ever watch a Bachelor in Paradise? Boy, money is cringing pretty hard right <laughs> now. No, I have not. You haven't seen it. God no! No, oh, come on, it's fantastic. I, I, no, no, it's 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 horrible. There's a point where television is like, like yeah, there's some shows that you watch to make fun of and like it makes you laugh. Like for me, it's Mama June from Not Too Hot. That show makes me laugh my ass off. But there's other shows like like Bachelor in Paradise where it like hurts. Yeah, it physically I agree. pains me I agree. to see what's happening because with Mama June, you know that they know that you know that it's all a skit. They're, you know these situations are absolutely like made up and they're just fucking with them and they know it too. So so you start with The the Bachelor show, which um, I watch because my, my wife and kids are all wrapped up into it. Sure. And it, it's pretty... No, it, it is, it's, it's awful. I mean, I it's, it. it's tortuous to watch this thing. And I don't know because they, they alternate back and forth. Tortuous. You have The Bachelor with 24, 25 women or the next episode, next next season you have... A bachelorette with, I don't know which is worse. It's like seeing how horrible the women are, 25 women can be for one guy, or seeing how, how horrible, uh, I think the, the guy where the 25 guys is worse for me because they're all so, um, and it's all staged, obviously, but I think the, the, the guys are worse because there's not one of them usually that has any sort of masculinity because they start talking about affection and all this. I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm out the door. I can't, I, I don't believe what you're talking about. So you go from The Bachelor and then there was this new show that follows The uh, Bachelor that's called The Proposal. Have you heard of this? Oh my God, yes. It's, I, it is the, you think Bachelor or, or Bachelor in Paradise is horrible? Is. The, the premise behind The Proposal, now granted, like The Bachelor has generated couples that actually get married and have kids and seemingly stick together and milk it for every dollar that they can in Hollywood. Uh, the Proposal is an hour game show where you have a person uh, who is the bachelor or bachelorette behind a screen of sort, and they have a parade of people of the opposite sex. I guess it's always the opposite. I've only watched two episodes. Um 
where they, they do a swimsuit competition. We talked about the Miss America pageant doing away with that. They have like an interview session where it's one question. And in this single episode, they narrow it down to three people or two or something. And then they peel the, the, uh, the curtain away for the person that's going to be making the proposal. Mm -hmm. And that person inevitably has, you know, some sort of, Sob story. They're missing a leg, and they're wait. What? No, the the, the first one that they had, it was. <laughs> now uh, I'm interested. Yeah. I was yeah. zoning out. I no. was yawning. Literally, I was she was about to the fub the hell out of you. I, I wasn't fubbing. I was legit just ignoring. Just you. ignoring. <laughs> but now I'm. Interested. You know, we're on a podcast where we're. Ex- wait. So <laughs> do they have to have some sort of something wrong with them? Oh, everybody does. On all these reality shows, there has to be some backstory. You can't go to, you can't participate Is on America's sad? Got Talent without you have, well, yeah, yeah, having had glaucoma three months ago yeah. that nearly killed you because you walked in front of a bus. Yeah. No, the, the first one in the proposal um, was a, a, a guy who, and I'm, I'm going to be making fun of this, and I'm not making fun of it, who literally was missing a leg. Uh, from the knee down because he was he was a soldier in somewhere mm-hmm. and a thing blew up and he lost his leg. Okay. But, and he was in like a nice looking guy other than not having the leg. Not that he looked horrible. So he, he was he was one of the contestants? No, he was the the bachelor, the oh, guy making the proposal. So okay, he had, I was like making him one of the contestants maybe one of the most unfair things because... She'd have to like like him for his personality and not even know anything about well, him. Well, but yeah, you, you, it's an hour show, so they don't know anything about the personality. Anyway, the yeah. level of interaction is oh. like, uh, you know, are you a dog person or a cat person? Well, I like cats because they smell pretty. I mean, that's it. Okay, you want to get married? This is the show. Yeah. And I and I I really I don't know if any of these people actually get married, but yeah. prom, I'm hoping not because if they do, it's kind of the end of Western civilization, right? As far as I see it, right. I mean, it's just like arranged marriages, essentially, and it's like my culture. That's like yeah. even my culture is starting to turn against arranged are marriages okay. now. White people are jumping on the bandwagon, like what? married at first sight. It's what? a show. You haven't heard of that? No. It's a show that started like I think they're on their fourth or fifth season. I stopped watching. Um, where a panel of experts and psychiatrists and all these things, like they, you know, these people agree to do this. And they just say, we've picked the perfect person for you. And they get a lot of input on values and on all these things to try to make, you know, a match that's done without a physical attraction or anything else. Um, And they agree to do it. And I think there's like maybe two successful couples that actually like had a child and are still doing well. Or maybe one. I don't know. Now there's one that's like there's a case of like domestic violence against the guy and oh, he's yeah. he's been arrested and she's been and it's the like some of the episodes you see like the guy walking and he's excited to see the girl and the girl comes and she's like a little bigger than he expected and you just it zooms in on his face where he's like <laughs> uh oh, well, i didn't expect all that so then yeah. he yeah so then like he talks about like and it's shitty because throughout the rest of the, like the episode you can tell like he's out he can't say he's out but like right. He's basically, she's like, he's making me feel so bad about myself. And it's yeah. like, yeah, that's why you don't do these things. Right. Yeah. You don't, I mean, reality TV is, I mean, it's horrible. I mean, it's gotten to the point that it's so in- incredibly awful and or fake that I, the, 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 there was a show my, my daughter was watching the other day and I walk out, uh, walk upstairs and there's a fight going on in a prison. I'm like, what are you watching? <laughs> and it's this show where they were normal people, non convicted people oh yeah say, i'm gonna go live in a prison for i don't know how long it is i, I think would it was watch weeks. that show That's i would watch that show. But type why thing. would yeah. you participate in that oh participate in it yeah you probably get paid a shit ton of money and get to be on tv uh, eh. it's no, better it's than being in an extra train wreck. There, the, yeah. you have people fighting beating you they, there was a fight taking place and i don't know if it was too because they're in there with actual convicts but they there were two people fighting because somebody promised somebody else that they could eat their uh, bread or something, and then decided that they weren't going to do that. And there's a fight. And I, at that point, number one, I wouldn't go there in the first place. But as soon as that happened, and I see blood flying over a piece of bread, I'm just like, you know what? Just, I've made uh, bad decisions. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where have I gone wrong in my life? Yeah. Like the one place I never want to go in my life ever is jail. Yeah. That, that is true. But here's the thing, though. I'm sure those people got paid a lot because people like you and me would actually willingly watch the show. I would willingly watch the show at least. I think they get paid. I can't imagine those people are making. I mean, they... getting paid anything is still better than nothing. Like, imagine uh, like these people must be super, you know, down in the dumps. Maybe always just wanted to be on TV for 15 minutes of fame. You'd be surprised what a person would do. I don't know. I you know we're not talking about white collar people that are going to be willing to do this. There's probably people that oh, really sure. desperately would want this want money. money. People want that want attention, to but the TV, first time yeah. that the, the, the Grand Master of the KKK walks up and tells me he wants me to make make me his bitch, I'd be out of there. <laughs> okay. Okay, but now think the of it. The Grand Master. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I'm i just saying, like, yeah, maybe you're not that desperate for money. What if it's like a reporter who thinks he can get his Pulitzer by doing this story of working with the Grand Master of the KKK? And, working and, with him or... Whatever. Dating him. Oh, dating Intimately. him. Intimately. Oh, I didn't I didn't know that was in thing. prison. Oh yeah. The, the Bachelor, the KKK edition. Yeah. <laughs> is that, prison is that what prison you're edition. About? There you go. There you go. You, you you take a prison filled with uh, you know, convicts and doing hard time nice. and you send in the bachelorette and say, hey, you know, find one. And if you find the right guy at this point I wouldn't be surprised we'll if a him. show like that it's actually probably was coming. Made. It's probably coming. I would not be surprised. All right. All right, so what is your line? I don't think we... So a person who watches The Bachelor, is that your line? No, a contestant on, on the Bachelor, Bachelor in okay. Paradise. Okay, specifically a Bachelor yes. in Paradise. Just, all right. Because a Bachelor Bachelorette is bad enough by itself. The Bachelor in Paradise is just, I think, outright debauchery. I don't care. Yeah. You know, there's, lots of, there's lots of fluids being traded. Let's just say that. <laughs> and Gross. Some of it's alcoholic. Some of it's not. Okay. I don't have any good stories or any good examples uh, of it, but I no, think... This will kill the episode then. Go yeah. <laughs> well, I think we killed that about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I think anyone who is too serious about themselves mm. uh, thinks too much of themselves. Uh, that's just a, a line that... Uh, like, what's I, what's the... What's so, like, if you much? first met somebody and they came across as taking themselves too seriously, you'd never give them a second chance? Done. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. See, I, yeah, I would. Broaden that for me. I'm trying to, because I, I, I've got low self esteem, so I can, <laughs> I can ride with you on that. We're not going to have a problem there. I, I, you know what? I, I'll take that back, Bunny. There's one person I know specifically where I hated him as soon as instantly as I, as, as I met him because he was way too into himself. Was he a and dickhole? Thought, <laughs> is that who we're and in? this uh, no it's not dick, dick my, he does not belong i'm not thinking about him at all he's a good dude mocha's my guy uh there's just somebody else that i met that uh just rubbed me the wrong way the, off the jump and thought this is just never gonna work and then uh about three months later, it just kind of flipped, and and now we're pretty good friends. So, well, you, I, you I, kind it, of contradict yourself. I know, right I know. I, I there's always an exception to the rule, but okay. I think for the most part, those are just not the people that I want to hang do out you, with. Do you feel like you changed that person? Like you made them better? <laughs> no, no, because I'm normally not around those people. I try oh, not to be, at least. Okay. See, I would, I would not. That would be different for me because. I've met people who just because they're nervous and they don't, they just, this is just a persona. They want to, you know, act like they're very you think that's nerves. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Really? If, yeah. Like if I, like you know, I dated an autistic person and if I went off of the first date and if I wasn't so desperate, <laughs> I probably would not have talked to him again because I mean, he talked about himself the entire time. Yeah. He, didn't seem to care about anything I was saying. Like right. he just kind of, he wouldn't even wait for me to finish talking. He'd just mm -hmm. be like, it, he said some weird stuff about like fancy restaurants. And I, I was, I was like, God, I, this is a very like, but I knew him. So I was like, I, he's not usually like this. Is this one of those things where the joke, uh, enough about me, let's talk about you. What do you think about me? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, no. Um, 
But for the most part, like I gave him a second chance out of desperation. But after that, I realized you should always give someone a second chance if maybe the first impression, because they might be nervous. They might, this might just be how they think they're supposed to act. Oh, like sure. it took six months, but, and eventually he was like more normal and could yeah. talk to me. But part of his autism, it played out and like he doesn't know what's okay to say. He doesn't know, you know, in his nervous state, he just talks about himself. That's what's comfortable to him. Right. But eventually that changed. So yeah. I would give someone a second chance if... It's a defensive mechanism. Exactly. Yeah. And first impressions are not always the correct no, impression I that agree. a person wanted to give off. Absolutely. That's what I, I hope when I'm talking to people, they have the same thought because I'm... <laughs> yeah. No, like a, a good example of first impressions not always being the right impressions is uh, we have a person in our improv group. Mm -hmm. He's not in our improv group, but someone we've done improv with, uh, Mike, uh, Dr. Mike. Yeah. Uh, he came up to me and was like, when I first met you, I did not like you. Right. I did not think you belonged here. You talked about stand up and, and uh, right. masturbating and I just couldn't stand <laughs> you. And he's like, but you've grown so much as a performer. Here's the thing. I haven't grown as a performer. Right. I was always that way of, you know, having different characters, voices. I've always known how to do that. Yeah. But he is talking about the first 10 minutes of meeting me right. where I nervously said, they said, come up with a word that starts with an M. And the first word that jumped into my head was masturbation. Right. Maybe not the best option, but I was nervous. And so it was like he judged me immediately. Yeah. He had to, he had to get over his shit. And he still thinks that it was it was it was me. He still yeah. says like you've grown and changed and mm. you now know what's appropriate. And it was like, dude, no, I was just nervous. Yeah. So that's why I would say give someone a second chance. But if they say they like the Star Wars prequels, walk the fuck away, delete their wow. number. Wow. No get, second chance just there. Just not even. Nothing. Don't even. I prefer that the masturbation thing comes no. up in the first 10 minutes because it kind of relaxes things. Like, okay, I know where the bar is set. Okay. It's pretty low. Yeah, all right. and there's And I really can't breach it at this point thanks guys you know? <laughs> great i'm glad i set the bar so low guys fun episode as always yeah didn't get, you'd think talking about child molestation would have gotten darker but i'm proud of us no, no. We, we we turned that around we, we made child molestation light <laughs> no we didn't we just added something lighter though yeah which was necessary. We, we lighten the things up there <laughs> yeah, it was good. uh but thanks for sticking through hopefully the whole episode and uh, until next time, like us and share us on Facebook and the Twitter and the other thing. Peace. <laughs> until next time. Never. Never.